Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how to set up lens flares in Nuke uh, without any additional plugins. Now, first things first. This is terrible. This is not how to use lens flares. This looks like crap. This is a good usage of a lens flare. This is probably a real lens flare. Obviously, that is fake. Um, when we're creating lens flares in post, we really want to try to make them look like real lens flares. Uh, the best way to do that is to study real lenses and real cameras. So I always look at reference, <coughs> and this is my reference for kind of what we're going to do today. Um, basically, the reason lens flares happen is because lenses have multiple layers, multiple lens elements, and it's created by the light which passes through the lens. Uh, reflecting and refracting and it creates these patterns so make sure you do research of how lens flares happen and the way real lenses work and real cameras work and that'll help you um, composite your lens flares a lot more realistically so first thing we need to do is track our footage once we have our footage tracked we can use this tracker to move the lens flares so I'm going to set up flare this is the node we're going to be primarily using is flare and when I composite lens flares, I always use the plus operation because we are adding light to our plate. Now that we have our footage tracked, we are going to copy the animation from the tracker to the flare. So in the flare node, we use the position uh, to control where the flare is, and that'll basically move this to where it needs to be. So what I'm going to do <coughs> is I'm going to hold control and uh, left click and drag this onto the position. So I'm just going to go through uh, some of these presets now. I'm going to close the tracker and I'm going to show you guys the presets. So I'm going to start, um, if we're going to kind of look at our, uh, go off our reference here, we kind of have this burst in the middle so I'm going to start with that. Uh, I'm going to go for the uh, mini bright which kind of does this sort of um, sparkly kind of um, thing and if I go to repeat I can set how many how many spikes I want um, so I'm gonna do it Let's see this looks five, seven. and then I can change the fall off for how sharp they are so if I want them to be really soft go down go up for more hard so that's kind of what I'm looking for right now with that and then angle is just the rotation of it, um, and so that's the um, that's the multi tab. The multi tab is basically for controlling anything where it's like mul multiple flares, like multi under the multi penta uh, preset. You'll be able to change how many you want, like how many flares you want and stuff in the multi tab. The flare tab is where we set all the main attributes for the flare itself. Ring color is basically the color of the actual flare itself. So you can see that. And then the outer uh, outer color is, or the uh, inner color is sort of like the core of it. And then these two here, outer color fall off, inner color fall off, that's just the fall off. So like, you'll make it really sharp. This is for the interior. If it's not really gonna make a difference to the out, outside, you can see how down, bringing it down makes it have less of a fall off. So you can play with those values. So let's just get some kind of what I want. That's pretty good. The anamorph, this is kind of how much it's squished. So if you're doing an anamorphic lens flare, you'll want it to have it be a little more squished to match the shape of the lens. So I'm just going to pull it out a little bit just to get that. And size multiplier is basically the global size of the lens flare. So probably don't want that too huge. Uh, now if I look at this over my plate, you can see kind of getting that sort of effect. We're getting kind of some little like streaks of light here coming out of it. So I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to leave that and I'm going to add another flare. <coughs> I'm going to start naming these to burst. This is going to be like streak one. So this will be kind of our main like center streak like this, this part. So streak one, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to copy, uh, control, click, drag, copy the tra uh, transform data. So now it's linked. And if I want to turn these expression links off, I just hit Alt-E. That's Alt-E to turn off expression links. So <clears throat> I'm going to go here, and now I'm going to use the preset called bright, which is just 
it'll just give me a bright glow like that. And I'm gonna kind of have, I'm gonna try to get kind of the same kind of color. It's kind of Iron Man, kind of blue color here. So if I go into um, a ring color and I move the hue, I can change it to whatever color I want. So I'm gonna kind of go like that. And then the inner color is the core, which we kind of want that to be white anyway, so I'll leave that. Chroma spread, I'm going to bring it down so it's not spreading it out so much. So we kind of get the color we actually want. So these radiuses here are the three radiuses. So there's like the inner, out, uh, middle, and then outer. So if I wanted to make like the inner part be bigger, I can control it with this. And then I can make the, or the middle, I can control it with this for the middle. And this for the outer. So that's kind of what I want. So this is going to be my main streak, so I'm going to set Animorph to like 10. So now it's kind of streaked out a little bit. Maybe a little bit less than that. Something like that. And I'm just going to increase my size multiplier. And I'm going to bring down my brightness so it doesn't look so bright. So that's decent, I guess. going to add these kind of um, extra smaller streaks so for that I'm going to use flare and I'm going to use for this one I'm going to use the multi penta which kind of gives us the classic sort of sun flare sort of look to it um, and you can see that if I move the position of it it's all fixed to the camera so it moves realistically as a lens flare really should so for this one I'm going to do this similar color kind of a bluey color and set this to kind of bluish. And if I go like if I go darker on the ring color, then it'll kind of give it a feather feathered out on the edges. And then I can just bring my outer fall off, so it's kind of feathered, just feather it out a little bit. And then I set my anamorph to around ten, so I have these kind of anamorphic lens flares here and size multiplier. Now we'll just have to see what this looks like over our plate. So once again, I'm gonna copy the animation, or expression like the animation rather. And it's looking pretty decent. Obviously, I'm just showing you the tools. This is, you would have to, you'll have to figure out what looks best for your particular case. This, this shot really doesn't need a lens flare, but Let's just say that J.J. Abrams is directing Iron Man, and obviously he's going to want lens flares, so... Just for this example, bear with me. I'm not really trying to make this look great, I'm just trying to make it look good enough so that you guys can figure out the artistic side, so... Add another one, and this one's going to be called... Magenta. I'm going for this kind of big purpley glow here. So to start off with this one, we're using the... Multipenta preset again, and I'm going to decrease the number of multiple flares to maybe five, four. Okay, and now I kind of want them, if you look here, they're kind of all really close together. So I'm going to use the random offset to push them closer together. Now you can see that they're a lot closer. So that random offset brings the multiple flares closer or further away. So I will set that. And under flare, I'm going to size multiply, and I'm going to set the offset. This is a global offset, so how close it is to the uh, position. And so I'm going to set size a little bit smaller. And I'm also going to, if I go here into size, I can set how how big the size variation is between all of them. So just bring that down a little bit, and I'm going to down and I'm going to set the corners to zero so that they're completely disc shaped and I'm going to set this to kind of a magenta color both of them it's a little bit closer to kind of what we want I think it's a little bit closer to red actually that's kind of what I want and I'm going to bring this chroma spread down a little bit. It's a little bit too much. And I'm going to 
pull this out again. Offset. There we go. So now if we look at that over my plate, now I have kind of this purpley glow, which kind of looks nice. Um, so if I play through this, you can see that now they're kind of tracking to that, and they're kind of all they're all moving realistically, like the way you would actually expect them to move. So one thing with lens flares that I've noticed is that lens flares don't actually get bigger or smaller as the source of the light gets further or closer away because lens flares are actually in the lens or happening inside the lens so the size of them shouldn't change but as something gets further away like this it should become less bright like obviously this the center burst thing should probably change the size should probably change because it's not really in the lens it's actually attached to his suit there right but for all these streaks and everything they, they should just become gradually less bright as he's further away so that looks pretty okay. This is obviously just an example. You'd have to tweak this a lot more and uh, really get in there and figure out what actually looks good. Uh, this shot doesn't really need anything, but uh, just for the example, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. And if you have any other suggestions, let me know.